This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Do this. The program uses the states library from the previous lesson. Okay, so let me go to data here and we see US states. If you're wondering what they're talking about, awesome. All right, so that's what we're using. You'll need to finish that by writing inside the new state function by using the function, the functions in the state library. You'll need to pick a random state, set the value of the current state to that state name. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, let's slow this down. Uh, you, so what we're going to do is we're going to be writing code inside the new state. So new states here, right? Empty function by using the functions in the states library. Well, what functions are in the states library? If you're thinking this is a good idea, this is not where the functions are located, right? There's a lot of info, but we need to go back. So that's the wrong way to get to it, right? That's not how you go to the data. How we get to this functions, we have to click on this gear. Manage assets. No, wait, data. Manage libraries. Click on manage library, state library, and here's the function. So here's state abbreviation. What does it do? We give it a state name. It gets the column US state state name and puts that into a list. The all state names is now a list. Now it gets all state abbreviations, get column US states, code name apparently is the name of the column. Then we're looping through the entire list here, right? Starting at index zero, which is really the first thing, all the way to the end of the state names, the length. And we're checking if state names index i, so at first zero, dot low case. Yeah, we want to put them both to low case to compare to make sure that won't be uh, an issue. So two lowercase. So all state names, whatever's that index i is now lowercase. Is that equal to the state name we passed? And making sure the state name is also at lowercase. If it is, then we will return right? We're going to return the abbreviation at that same index. Anyways, here's all the functions. Okay, let's see what we're doing. Pick a random state. To pick a random state, we want to use, let's see, I keep doing that. Let's see if there is a pick a random state function, or if they just mean to randomize state skyline, state seal. Yeah, it doesn't look like, no, random state. Okay, and do we pass anything? Nope, it will just randomly generate an index and return a state for us. It returns a string of the state's name. Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we're going to call that function. And when I say function, keep in mind, I mean, uh, it's a method of a library. So we'll get into that, but we're going to call it. So I need a variable first to hold our state. So var x, and I'll just make this be var State, and what is it going to be equal to? Well, we need to call that method, that function. So, and here we are. We need to make sure that we have state library because it's not a normal one, right? So we it's a function within the state library. So now state library dot random state. Perfect. That's the function we need. And now we have a random state. What's the next step? Pick a random state, set the value of current state to the state name. Oh, okay. So this should be current state. Cool. Update the flag on the screen to be that state. Okay, well, how can we figure out the flag? Well, look, state skyline, state seal, ba -da -da -ba -ba, state flag. So we need to update the flag. Looks like the ID of the image is flag image. That would make sense. So then we want to set property. What property do we want to set? Well, we want to set the flag image. What do we want to set of it? We need to set the image of it. And then this is where we need to use the function that is state flag here. So we're going to run this method state library dot state flag. What state name is it? Well, our state name is going to be the current state name. So whatever name we have is what was returned by our state library dot random state function. So we're going to use that variable that now holds the name of a state and we're going to say, hey, state flag function, grab the state flag and set the image to it. Let's give it a shot. And we have a random state flag. Cool. And that's all we were asked to do on this one. So um, let's keep going.